The U.S. will support both Ukraine and Israel as they fight to protect their homelands, one against Russian invaders, the other against Hamas militants. Absolutely, we can do both, and we will do both. Uh, we're going to do what's necessary to help our, our allies and partners, and we're going to do, also do what's necessary to make sure that we maintain the capability to protect our interests and defend our country. As Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky joined the Ukraine Defense Contact Group in Brussels, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin listed more than $1 billion in new support from member nations, including another Patriot air defense system and 10 more Leopard 2 tanks from Germany. Austin also said the U.S. would help lead the coalition that is working to provide Ukraine with F-16s. This will take months, as we said uh, before, so uh, earliest is next spring when we can begin to see an initial capability. Wednesday marked the first Ukraine Defense Contact Group meeting since the U.S. Congress omitted new aid for Ukraine from a stopgap spending bill passed last month to prevent a government shutdown. Uh, there is still uh, bipartisan support uh, for Ukraine. Uh, and, uh, of course, democracies will take th their time to work things out. The U.S. also announced an aid package that would provide Ukraine with up to $200 million in more weapons from American military stockpiles. I realize during the winter months it gets more challenging, but Ukraine has intent to continue uh, their uh, offensive operations uh, throughout the winter months. And uh, I, I do believe, based on what, uh, what I heard today from each of the nations, we're doing all the right things to posture them to be successful. The U.S. package includes more ammunition for HIMARS artillery systems and more tow missiles to counter Russian tanks. Carla Bab, VOA News, the Pentagon.